Maurizio, you can take a breath now. Um, how pleased were you with that win at the end of the day? Not so pleased because uh, to win the three points in this uh, difficult stadium, uh, again, a very difficult team, I think uh, very pleased because I think the performance I think was good, really good. Luton are a tough place. It is a tough place to come. They've taken points off of Liverpool, Newcastle, and they've given Man City a scare as well. It was always going to be that sort of game today, wasn't it? Yes. That is why we need to be happy because uh, it's a difficult crowd to come and, and to play. And I seen our player uh, made a fantastic, did a fantastic job. Uh, so please and give credit to Luton because they come back. Uh, and yes, we on the end we feel uh, a little bit the situation that. Uh, we cannot, we cannot uh, give up, fight, and but yes, I seem so happy on the end. We deserve the three points, and important for us to be a little bit, you know, in a different position on the table. I wanted to ask about the game management as well because it was a late scare, wasn't it? I mean, how important was the character in the closing moments today? No, it's, it's not easy because uh, sometimes some period on the on the game that is about the players. It's, it's difficult for outside to manage. You, you can see many games, uh, three nil Arsenal and three three on the end. Different, different team. It's about to try to help, but uh, yes, always happen. This type of period, you know, in the uh, during the game, always is about uh, you know to, to to keep your belief and and manage really well the situation. But always you are going to suffer some problems like we suffering today. We've spoken about players being clinical and, and taking chances beforehand. That was something that we saw, especially in that first half, that the, the players taking yes. those chances. No, no, that was good. I think the, the overall the performance was was really good. I think we need to be happy and now to to finish in a good way. The 2023 is important and uh, now looking forward for the new the new year. Exciting times. We were speaking to Cole Palmer about the link up with himself and Nico, especially for that, that second goal. But it seems that these relationships are developing and improving week on week now. Yes, I think it's, it's all about time. It's about to play, it's about together, it's always about time, matter of time. Football is, uh, you cannot buy the time, and matter of time with good players, it's only things good uh, uh, happen. I wanted to ask about Nico Jackson. He's getting a tough time from the fans, but how pleased were you with his overall game today? No, I think he worked really, really hard. For the team and and I think didn't get you know the the credit the sorry the the reward the scoring goal but I think fantastic show for the team. We used that word spirit a couple of minutes ago. We saw that with Alfie Gilchrist again to come off the bench. Another important cameo at, at the end. What do you like about him as a player? Uh, sorry, about Alfie Gilchrist. Ah, okay, no, uh, you can see the the attitude, the aggression. Uh, the belief, the energy that related to the team is important and was in a moment that we need to, uh, you know, to <laughs> to keep the result and he was, uh, I think, helping in a very good way. And finally, Maurizio, the fans were excellent again today. How important was it to finish the year with, with a big win in front of them and also important for you to do that in that no, way as well? Of course, of course. Always it's important win games. We are in Chelsea, we need to understand that we are in Chelsea and all is about to win and important win in front of our fans here. Fantastic uh, support, uh, hope that uh, finish well the 2023 and wish all the best and uh, fantastic 2024. And now you get a chance to recover? Uh, yes, and now we are going to have uh, two days off to recover. <laughs>